Good day, creative friends. I hope you're well. Today I have a mind to play with blobs of colors. I'm going to be using only three colors. Titan Buff, Transparent Red Oxide, and Indigo. And I'm going to be doodling, of course. Oh, and uh, uh, I almost forgot the most important color. Pale Gold. <laughs> I have a mind to do more of these blobs that I've done a couple years ago actually. Maybe I'll just limit those to six, but let's say instead of having them a blog and shaped just so, they would have a little bit more of a loose edge. And I'm going to introduce maybe another color inside the blobs and let that color run or mingle and then maybe drag another blob close to it so maybe maybe i'll have more blobs than i thought everything's up in the air kind of <laughs> and this time i'm going to grab a tiny bit of the transparent red oxide just to color it and then maybe that color is also going to walk into the other one but the base color I sort of want to keep it tight and buff so let's see and also keeping it uh, quite like li light sorry for now oops I got a little fuzz here maybe this one will have a stronger edge or more of a darker color and then let's do another one here maybe with a stronger application of the Titan buff adding more water let's do another one Why don't I, hmm, let's see here, how about I drop like a very dark pop of that transparent red oxide here and see how it's going to spider into the rest. Uh, because Titan Buff, Titan Buff has, um, it's, it's not a, it's quite opaque if you use a lot of pigment so um, it can be interesting let's see here and let's add blue like this Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean that ooh yeah per se, <laughs> not in that tone, <laughs> I do apologize for that. <laughs> uh, okay, one last one. Yeah. A little bit misshapen. How about if I hold my board like this? Just bear with me. And if I were to drop the color, see how it will run. How far is it gonna go? I'm not sure if it would cross because this is already started to dry, so. I'm 
gonna try and mix a bit of Quin Gold. Let's see. Ooh. See how it's turned into this brighter, more, yeah, brighter color. Um, it's got that definite pizzazz to it. Mm -hmm. This has turned into two gold for me. Now I have to go over it with the transparent red oxide and I'm not I'm, I'm not really happy <laughs> to do this but I kind of have to because uh, yeah I didn't want to have all that gold uh, that's not what I was aiming for I was kind of hoping that the gold would mix with the transparent red oxide a little bit more, but uh, it overpowered it. Very potent as a color. I want to create blue dots. So I'm just gonna flick. Maybe create some larger ones with the brush. I think I should add also some dots with the transparent red oxide. I'm going to start doodling with a pencil and for my first doodle element I just want to write a text. What I want to add with this is just a graphic element. See how cool that is? It's subtle enough. It's, you know, the letters are badly formed. It's not meant to be read, but it's meant to be recognized as writing. So what I want is to have a few leaves or branches that I can color in with gold. I've taken my pencil and I've traced two lines here. I'm gonna just add leaves to it. Okay, let's add the gold. <laughs>
Yeah. My chair is squeaking. <laughs> it's happy about the gold, that's why. Look at that happy gold. And the happy creator. <laughs> happy with this piece I really am happy um, I was feeling blobby <laughs> not me personally but I was I wanted to play with blobs of color and uh, I think I think this was a good session of course the gold you know never fails to make me happy maybe you too are feeling blobby <laughs> maybe you are also having a blobby kind of day it's not a bad thing it's just a blobby day I felt like creating blobs of color experiment with different colors maybe or use a different style of handwriting or maybe use numbers I don't know uh, use all caps big letters small letters different heights of you know between the consonants and the vowels I don't know I'm trying to give you as many examples or suggestions as possible and if you don't like to write maybe some lines maybe line work would do the trick uh, experiment with different styles of uh, branches and leaves maybe colors we've covered that already the sky's the limit when you're talking about abstract work or doodly um, stuff like that so go ahead enjoy yourself have a fun blobby session <laughs> i want to say of course a big thank you to my awesome patrons who support my art over at patreon and a big thank you as well to you my viewers for watching the videos i sometimes get comments or questions asking what other ways can they support my art besides becoming a patreon member because i know it's not for everyone and i totally understand that uh, one good way is to just simply watch the video maybe sometimes let the ads roll liking hitting the like button and even adding a tiny comment if you don't feel like saying anything just put a smiley face or something uh, that also helps a lot and sharing the link maybe if you think you know someone who might want to watch my video maybe sharing the link so these are all ways that you can contribute for free and uh, it means a lot to me as usual I'm going to leave the list of supplies in the description as well as in a pinned comment I want to wish you all a wonderful creative and um, maybe blobby week <laughs> let's get creative please stay safe and healthy and I will see, see you soon